Welcome to Dan DGEM. We take the more risky aspects of crypto projects and bring on a bite-sized piece. So today, what we're going to do is a little follow-up to a project that we had talked about on Dan DGEM a couple of months ago. Uh, it's called Avigachi. And this all came about because of uh, a tweet uh, that was put out recently. And this was from Dr. Wagmi, or we're all going to make it. And he says, uh, I'm currently earning $800 per day playing Avigachi. Let's break down how Avigachi is the most profitable project in crypto right now. So first of all, I will just say this. Uh, today, it is June 13th. We have just, uh, we have recently seen the collapse of Luna. We just saw the uh, potential collapse of Celsius as they shut down all uh, uh, transactions and uh, taking any kind of crypto or digital assets off the platform. It's a very uncertain time. And we've gotten uh, quite a little bit of a plunge. I think we're actually below 1 trillion market cap. And uh, that is in 2022. So today for Avogachi, I got to tell you, for GST, it's only down 3%, which in this market is like a miracle. And you can see what's happened here, uh, $1.42 to $1.39, not too bad. Over 14 days, which we've seen a, a bit, even bigger drop. We're looking at $1.50 to again, $1.38. So in all honesty, uh, this is probably one of the one of the least volatile projects that are out there. And of course, over in Dan Degen, we've done what we try to focus on is, is some some riskier projects uh, that uh, are are about to come out, usually that are about to come out. And we had talked about this one. Oh, my God. Six months ago, six months ago, we talked about Avogachi. And uh, we had Jesse on, one of the co-founders, and it was pretty good. And now we're just going to do a follow-up because of that tweet. So the thing we have to go over first, uh, really what we have to go over, is, of course, we take a look at the overview about what we're going to do. And we might be splitting this video up into two pieces. Uh, also, what I'd like to take a look at is you're going to have to know uh, MetaMask and how to download it and how to add the Binance Smart Chain and Polygon to be able to use these things because Avogachi is on the Polygon chain. So also, if you're going to do that, we're going to talk about how you have to buy Polygon and how the whole bridging aspect works because if you do not send uh, the right uh, crypto on the right chain, it is gone forever. I have learned my lesson on that one. So we'll talk about those. And then, of course, we're going to talk about where and how to buy uh, GHST or Ghost uh, for the Avogachi uh, universe. And then uh, after that, we're going to go through part two, which is playing the Avogachi game, getting Dr. Wagme in here, getting Jesse, getting potentially Gravy in here, and uh, just going through the whole process of what that looks like. So the first thing we have to do is we have to talk about MetaMask, how to download it and how to set up these chains the correct way. So what I did is I linked, there is a link in the description and so this article, uh, which is right here, which is connecting MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. And why I wanted to do this, I, I want to show you two things, how to add in the Binance Smart Chain and also how to add in Polygon to your MetaMask wallet. Because this uh, explanation from CoinMarketCap is very, um, very thorough. So it'll show you exactly what it, what, how to do it. And the next one, we're talking about connecting MetaMask to Polygon isn't as thorough. So I wanted to use it both because at some point you're going to probably need both anyhow. So first things first, we're going to scroll, we're going to scroll down. It's going to say step one, install MetaMask. And the reason why I'm linking this uh, article so you can download it is because MetaMask, if you want to download it, because you're going to download this to your browser, okay? Whatever you have, I use Chrome and Brave. You can download them both of those, but there's a lot of scams out there. So I need you to use this specific link that I put right here. I don't want you to go and search for it and be like, oh, I downloaded it from uh, some wacky website and it looked legit. And then you, you, you uh, take all your polygon, you move it over and it's all gone because it wasn't the legitimate actual app, which is MetaMask. So that's why I'm connecting it here. So that is the basic. So it's very simple. You just uh, click there. It's going to say download. You download it. There's going to be um, a key phrase or a mnemonic phrase. Write that down uh, somewhere where you don't lose it because that is how you back everything up. If you want a more detailed explanation, just go to danteacherscrypto.com. In uh, the uh, first module, I go over the basics, but I show you exactly how to do that. But it's, it's uh, not extremely difficult. Download, save those mnemonic phrase keys. It's 12 different words. And that's what allows you to uh, uh, get back into your account if for some reason like your computer blows up 
or it just goes away or, or something happens to your computer, you have a backup. So that's uh, super important. Next one, you're gonna open your MetaMask wallet. And uh, for me, like my MetaMask wallet is right here. And if I click on that, uh, you're not gonna see it uh, because it's uh, because of the way that uh, the security principles are on StreamYard that I'm using right now to record this. So what you do is you open up your MetaMask wallet and there's a little button there. And it said, you'll get the option to open your wallet on an expanded screen. So right there where it says uh, uh, view account, expand view, you're going to click on expand view to make it big. And it's going to look like this. And that's how you can actually make this big and, and actually take a look at it. So you will notice that I got a little bit of things already on my MetaMask wallet. I got a little bit of ETH, a little bit of wrapped ETH, not much, no mana. All right. UFO, Matic, I got a thousand USDC. StormX, I've got a half a half a million, and then USDT. Now this, I want to make mention, this is the Ethereum mainnet chain, okay? Ethereum mainnet. I don't have our, when we go through it, the Binance Smart Chain, the Polygon Chain aren't automatically here. When you download MetaMask, it is only the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So just for example, I want to let you know that if you transferred out uh, Matic, you say, oh, I'm just going to transfer Matic from Ethereum to uh, a, the the polygon or matic blockchain it won't go through you need a bridge and if you try to do that it'll disappear so just so you know uh, it has to be on the same blockchain it sounds very weird but just think of it like think of it like a bank right um in the good old days you could only transfer money between like wells fargo to wells fargo or bank of america to bank of america uh, but of course, as time went on, you could route it everywhere, anywhere you want to. And there was these bridges. And of course, that bridge is called Swift. Now, on this one, we have a bridge, which we can bridge different things over. So let's just jump into real quick uh, how we need to connect, first of all, uh, Binance Smart Chain. So that is going to look like this. So scroll down, add BSC or Binance Smart Chain network information. Now that you have the MetaMask wallet open on a separate screen, uh, select your profile icon in the top right and head down to settings. So for me, that's right here. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to settings. And there's all a bunch of stuff right there. And then uh, let me go back uh, over here. And it's going to say in the left-hand corner, you will see the networks option. So I'm going to go, okay, uh, networks. Awesome. So now it's going to say, uh, once you, of course, you've got to select networks, excuse me. So I'm going to select networks, did it. And then it's going to say, uh, once you select that, you will have a screen below. Ethereum, Ropstein, Wrinkleby, blah, 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 blah. You must then click on add network to add BSC. So for me, you will notice that I'm, I already have it here. But if I wanted to click on, and, and you'll see like all the information is already there. If I didn't have this, I would just click on add a network and I would put this information in, Binance Smart Chain Mainnet. RPC, URL, chain ID, BND, blah, blah, blah. And that can be found right here for the mainnet, smart chain, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Click on save. And then once you click on save, which I've already done this, then you will now have access to the Binance smart chain. Uh, very easy and no problems. You will notice that your wallet now features the BNB symbol and right to assets, BNB has been added. So let me come over here. And now what yours will be, it'll look like this, Binance Smart Chain. And uh, there it is. It's uh, already there. So let's see. Let me get out of here. So now let me go back to Ethereum. Remember my Ethereum wallet? Looks like this. Now here's my Binance Smart Chain wallet. And it looks like this. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff. BNB, USDC, Fame. Very good project. We've featured that on Dan DGen. Got it on different wallets, so uh, not too bad. And uh, that's essentially how you get Binance Smart Chain. Now, to get uh, Polygon, pretty much the same thing. Install MetaMask, add Polygon Network to your MetaMask, the same thing, uh, side panel, click Expand View, uh, click Add Network, <clears throat> enter in the Matic mainnet settings, Polygon, da, 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 137, and go ahead and click Save. So on mine, I also have Polygon, and uh, there it is. Okay, 31 Matic, 77,000 uh, MV token, or from Gensukishi, Sand, Chain Guardians, and of course, I got a little ghost uh, where that is. So that uh, essentially takes care of the MetaMask download and how to add Binance Smart Chain and Polygon. So the next question, 
really then is, okay, how do I buy Polygon and how do I bridge this stuff? So if you ever want to find a project to their official website, just go to CoinGecko. Never punch in and go Polygon Network because you never know where you're going to go. Uh, Google will sometimes give you some false or some phishing sites and you go to the wrong one and then you try to bridge something and then it just goes out the window. So if you're going to try to find something, first go to CoinGecko, Polygon Matic. Uh, that has the official website, the white paper, the contract, everything that you really need to get back into it. So what I'm trying to do here is first we need to buy Polygon and bridge because just like with our, our MetaMask wallet, if I'm on Ethereum, if I want to transfer anything, I need this thing called gas and gas is ridiculous fees. That's why I have like a hundred bucks in Ethereum right here so I can transfer things around. That is the gas. If I am on Polygon, what am I going to use? I need Matic. And Matic is, is essentially the gas of the Polygon network so I can move things around. If I'm on Binance Smart Chain, I'm going to need BNB. And I don't really need that much because that's the Binance, the BNB coin is like the gas. So over here, the question you might have is, well, Rob, how do I, how do I buy Polygon? And how do I put it uh, onto uh, the Polygon wallet? So very simple. I'm going to come over here and let's see, Polygon technology. You can also figure out places where to buy these things if you scroll down in CoinGecko and click on, see right here, it says markets, markets. I'm going to click on markets. And this is all the places that you can buy uh, Polygon. And it's a lot. There's a lot of different places that you can send things to. And for this one, we could use Coinbase. And from here, this is my Coinbase account. And what I'm going to do is I already have some Matic in there. If you don't have Matic, of course, just buy it. And what I'm going to do is on the very top right, top upper there, it says, uh, it says buy, sell, and send. So I'm going to click on send. Let's send, I don't know. Well, not XRP. I don't need that. Let's send Matic. Let's send a whopping $10. And press continue. Now nah, it's send 18 bucks. I don't need anything on Coinbase for any reason. Continue. And it's going to say the phone, email address, or ENS. And see that little button right there where it's like a little barcode? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to click on that. Let's see if I can do this on the computer. Okay. So let me stop this screen. Let me share my screen. My MetaMask wallet. Ah, there's my MetaMask wallet. So you can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let me go here. And there it is. So I'm going to scan that with my phone. Or I could just copy and paste. It doesn't really matter. And I always want to, I always want to double check. So it's 0x097, blah, 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 B1, something, something. Let me show you what I'm, what I'm seeing right here on my phone, which looks like these. So I'm double checking, 0x0, zero zero, there's a one, yeah, looks good. Preview send. And eesh, that sucks. Network fees, jeez, 12 Matic. No, oh, whatever. Send now, 208988. And voila, so that is it as far as like buying uh, Polygon or Matic, and then it gets transferred over. Now, I'm not going to wait for Coinbase to send it over to me. I think we'll just uh, get that done. Now, I already have Matic or Polygon in my wallet. I just want to show you how to buy Polygon and transfer it over to your MetaMask wallet. Now, that is the great part. Now, we got to go to the second step because we're on the Ethereum mainnet. This is the Ethereum mainnet. So, if we want to do anything on the Polygon or Matic blockchain, we need to send this Matic, which is on Ethereum, over to Polygon because when we're going to be doing the things with uh, with Dr. Wagmi and all the and Jesse and all those guys with uh, Avagachi, is we're going to uh, need to do that on the Polygon chain because that's where we actually buy the ghost. So how do we do that? So first of all, if I want to, what I need you to do is go to the Polygon uh, website. And again, if you want to find those information on the legitimate websites, always go to CoinGecko. It's very easy. It has it over here, polygon.technology. Because remember, if you, if you type it into Google, sometimes they, they have these phishing or spoof sites and they send you the wrong place and you lose all your money and I won't let that happen. So I just use that. I click on there and it takes me to polygon.technology. And all you're going to do 
is up here. You got solutions, developers, dApps, community, blah, blah, blah. Great. And it says dApps. And what we want to do is not the wallet, the proof of stake bridge. And when we open that up, it's going to ask us, okay, well, log in. So we're going to click on MetaMask. That's what we use right here. And uh, you may not see this, but it's going to say signature request. It says, greetings from Polygon. Sign this message. Let me just take a, a screenshot so I can put it in later. And you're going to click on sign. And uh, that's, there we go. So now we are ready to do the bridging, all the bridging cool stuff to bring it from Ethereum, bridge it over to Polygon. So we're going to click on the Polygon bridge. And you can see right here, this is my account, uh, the... Uh, MetaMask wallet has it, all the things that we just did and adding Polygon. Now we're ready to ready to roll a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to go from the Ethereum chain. We don't want to move Ether. We want to move uh, Matic. And I've got a whopping 18 tokens. Watch out. So Matic token. And I'm just going to click on max. And the problem here, and it's going to go again from the Ethereum chain to the Polygon chain. Why are we doing this? Remember, Matic is the gas of the Polygon chain, right? Or Matic, uh, the Matic token, just like uh, Ethereum. You need Ethereum for, for the gas, just like uh, for the Binance chain, you need the BNB coin. So that's what we wanna do. We just wanna do this for gas. I already have it over there. I'm just showing you how to do this. So we're gonna click on transfer. And the problem with this is, uh, what's supporting? Remember from Ethereum Polygon? Okay, great. It says moving funds from Ethereum to Polygon takes about seven to eight minutes. Continue. And the problem here is that deposit process consists of two transactions. This is the estimation of total gas required for this transaction. Okay, Let's see how that works out. And Ethereum to Polygon, transfer plasma bridge, estimated transactions fees, zero. Okay, continue. And then continue. And now we're going to have this little pop-up, which you can't see. I'll take a screenshot so I can put it in. And it's going to ask you, see, remember what it said about there's going to be no fees? That's never the way. So right here, it actually, the estimated gas fee is $7.89, which honestly isn't bad. I'll be honest with you. And then underneath, it'll say, uh, do you want to reject that or confirm it? For the sake of this, I'll just confirm, even though it's robbing me. Click confirm, and it's gonna say transaction in process. So just so you know, as this is going through, uh, it's going to uh, take a little bit of time, and then sometimes we have to come back and complete the transaction. So we'll stop that there and we'll wait a little bit. And uh, here we go, it says confirm. That took about 30 seconds. It says your transfer is in route. It will take seven, eight minutes for the deposit completed. On completion, your balance will be updated. And then again, if we go here and X out of here, it's see here it says one pending. After a while, it may change a little bit, so we'll wait for that. And actually, if I click on the one pending, it'll say deposit in progress from Ethereum to da da da. All transactions, it'll say pending over here. So you can see what's happening in real time. But again, it might, might take a little bit, uh, a little couple minutes to go through. Ah, great. And there it is. Looks like it was completed. Looks pretty nice. And uh, deposit. So that's great. And we're all done for that section. So this means, thus, that if we go to back to the MetaMask, see now on the Ethereum chain, I have zero Matic, which means it went over to Polygon. And it looks like I got a little more Matic. So that is essentially uh, how we do things uh, as far as uh, moving everything around. So that now allows me to do all the things on Matic. And let me make something very clear is that is when we took a look at the gas fees, it looks pretty high. You're like, oh, that doesn't look too great. But just think of it this way. For every transaction that you do on Ethereum, uh, that's going to cost you seven, eight bucks up to $25, $35 for every single transaction that you do. Now that we moved Polygon or Matic over to the Polygon chain, every single transaction that we do on the Polygon chain is going to cost us pennies fractions of pennies. So when we take a look at Avogachi and how that all works, uh, you know, to, to move things, to buy things, to do all the things with the Avogachis, uh, every single transaction would have cost us seven, eight, $25. But now that we're doing all these things on Polygon, it's going to cost us again, pennies. And that's it. And that's uh, the power of, uh, of Polygon and Matic being that uh, other solution, layer two solution for Ethereum. So 
We're taking a look there. We are done with uh, buying Polygon and bridging. Now we got to figure out where and how to buy Ghost for Avagachi. So uh, real quick, we want to buy Ghost, which is the token of the Avagachi uh, universe. Uh, or metaverse, and it's right now it's a dollar thirty six, and like a, like we talked about in the beginning, we had, we had just seen the collapse of Terra not too long ago. Now Celsius is going through their issues, and we're actually up today on Avagachi, which is I mean we'll take it. So what I want to do is I want to find out where I can buy Avagachi, just like we did with Polygon, and there's a lot of places you can go to, all these different places. Uh, Binance, I can't get into Binance. I'm in Texas, uh, Gate.io, all these places I can't get into. Maybe KuCoin. Uh, but what you're going to notice here is the pairs. So right here it says, like, if you're on Binance, you have to have USDT or Tether to get Ghost. And then uh, for QuickSwap, which is what we're going to use, that's a decentralized exchange. It says that you need USDC, but I'm going to show you how you really don't need. You can use anything, essentially, uh, for this one. And then there's SushiSwap and all those things. So you can find out where to buy this. The easiest one, I will say again, is just uh, click on quick click on quick swap. That's a tongue twister. And uh, again, I like the official links, so I'm just going to click on start trading, and it's going to open up quick swap. And you're gonna, you're going to notice one thing, and that is that uh, the, my wallet is already up there, which is great. And we're on the Matic or the Polygon chain. It's not an Ethereum. It's all on uh, Matic. And what we need to find, we need to buy the ghost token, right? So right here, again, the balance is 49 and you can use whatever you want to. Uh, 49, I have the multiverse for Gensu Kishi, which uh, Gensu Kishi and Avagachi have teamed up, as a matter of fact, it's a great one. Sand, and I only have uh, 32 of ghost and for some reason I have Binance chain on here, but okay, whatever. So the thing is, is I want around 600 ghost tokens. And right now, if we take a look at, uh, again, the ghost token, that's about $1.36. So we're going to spend around $800, something like that. And the reason why I need 600 ghosts is because I've already taken a look over at Avagachi and seen some of the cheaper uh, versions that they have. That's how much it's going to cost me. So I know that's how much I want to use. So here's the thing. Right now, I only have 49.7 Matic. So if I max that out, and let's see. First of all, I want to get ghost. If I max that out, I'm only going to get 14 ghosts. That's uh, not a lot. So what I want to do then is, again, like I said, I can use anything. Thankfully, I got this one called uh, MV or Metaverse from Genso Kishi. And if I want, and again, see down here where it says the routing mechanism. So you got MV to USDT to ETH to GHST. And it does this all in the background and it finds you the best price. Now, it's not going to be like the most fantastic price. I'll just you know, let you know right there, but not near what Ethereum is. So let's see, if I want to have 600 ghosts, maybe I need, because right now uh, the Gensu Kishi token is 43 cents. Again, another one of those projects that we had uh, talked about in Dan Degen and uh, worked out great uh, so far. It's actually up, up two and a half percent, not surprising. So multiverse, let's see. Let's see if I can get 800. No, it's gonna be 256. So let's say, 3,957, I don't want that many. Great, so we'll do 2,000 of this token and it's gonna route from uh, MV to USDT to ETH to, and it's gonna put Ghost or GHST right into my wallet so we can go over here and we can uh, buy our Avagachi. So I'm gonna click on swap. It's gonna ask me, hey man, so what you wanna do? 2,000 to 639, uh, the price is this. Minimum uh, received, 636. Price impact, zero from liquidity provider P is 17 MV, which is roughly, that does, that's kind of a bummer. That is, uh, what is that, $9, $8? So not the greatest, but what can we do? Price updated, confirm swap, waiting for confirmation. Again, you can't see this, but uh, it's going to pop up, and it's going to ask me this question. Hey, this is how much it is. What is interesting, though, is the gas fee, the Matic fee is 0 0.02, and I like that. So let's confirm it. So again, Matic fee on the chain is very cheap, but of course the, the liquidity provider fee, because I'm using QuickSwap, is uh, one of those things. 
is uh, I got to pay those people. They're the market makers. So that is essentially it. And now you're going to see swap 2000 for 639 ghost. Let's take a look at my uh, MetaMask wallet. See what's actually there. Make sure I'm in Polygon. And here's Ghost. And I had to refresh it, but uh, here we are. Now I'm at 671. So that is essentially uh, how you are able to uh, get Ghost and uh, how we're going to use this to uh, buy those, uh, those NFTs and uh, you know get back to what Dr. Wagmi was saying, which is earning $800 a day playing Avagachi. So uh, this will lead me to my last point, which is this. Now we want to go and figure all this stuff out. So this video went a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into two pieces. So I'll have the experts come on and I will link that video in the description below. Or also, you can check it over here, depending if you're watching it uh, here over at Dan Teaches Crypto or wherever place you're, you're finding it. I will link the second video in the description. So that should take care of everything. So we figured out how to use MetaMask, how to add um, Polygon, how to add Binance Chain, how to bridge everything, how to buy Ghost on a, on a DEX. Did a lot of stuff, so congratulations. Watch the video a couple of times, doesn't make sense. Slow it down, and that is it. So thanks for watching, do appreciate it. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll link the second one in just a bit.